Hey, good afternoon, good day, everyone. It's so, so happy to be here again to be running this lesson. I'm sure for those of you who were able to join the class when we had it um, on Monday, we have gone through community leaders, and this is just more or less like a recap and for us to be able to have access to the the lesson resources and this is the slide that has been presented again i will just try as much as possible to be able to run through everything again just um try as much as possible to ignore the interference that you just okay i apologize for that all right so we move on quickly we looked at community leaders among our people and again we looked at the objectives of the lesson we you to define a community leader identify community leaders in our environment and these five community leaders and their titles so what that simply means is that as community leaders we also have some community leaders have titles and in the process of this lesson we are going to see to that and so quickly we jump to the first task what is a community who is a community leader so a community leader is a person who has been appointed to lead the people all right it makes rules laws guides and inspire people in the community people can become leaders through inheritance election or by appointment and i, I explained when we had a lesson inheritance is 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 through your family for example if you come from a royal family your father is a king all right you can become the next king after your father that is being a king through inheritance or being a leader through inheritance and of course we all know what election means when you are voted for just like we do when we want to elect a prefect in school people come out to vote for who they prefer and by that um, process a leader can emerge and of course by appointment this appointment could be as a result of what we have seen from the from the individual Maybe due to a character, due to leadership traits, due to leadership abilities that we have seen. And we say, whoa, this person is so, so good. I'm appointing this person to lead this set of people. So, like sometimes in our classes, uh, our teachers can just appoint somebody to be the class prefect or to be the class captain or to be the class rep, um, be the subject rep from time to time. So that is uh, an example of a leader by appointment. Or okay. So we move forward. There are other types of leaders, such as religious leaders, political leaders, both local, regional, and national leaders. We have all of that. So in our subsequent lesson, we are going to look at uh, other leaders, which, of course, the religious leaders falls into the category of other leaders. In our subsequent lessons, we are going to look at that. And, of course, we quickly jump to names and titles of community leaders. And I would like to explain here that names and titles of political leaders varies from one locality from one environment to the author so an able a yoruba king or yoruba leader is opa yes we call leader in our community a king is a leader in among the a king as a leader is called among the yoruba people is called oba all right and it's the same thing as uh, people in edo they call them oba of Bini. for example they have oba of lagos of acts that's an example and of course an igwe leader is called igwe igwe and also leader is also called emia all right we we'll move on so we can see example of a yoruba king sitting by your left hand side and of course you said yoruba king is called oba just like i said earlier on this was the former um emia of kano all right we can see the way he's dressed we call them Sarki or Emia as the case may be. So look at ski, the way they dress, and you should be able to tell the difference between these two set of people. All right, to move, this is an example of an Edo king. We can see lots of beads on his head, neck, and all around him. You can see beads. Okay, this is Igwe. These are Igbo king. So we can see the way he's dressed with his crown, with his staff, and of course. A very big beads set of beads on his around his neck okay so this is a full emir of course 
you can see the way it's dressed he has his own um, staff as well so so there are some of these kings leaders have some things that are associated with them we are quickly going to look at some of those things now now so we give an example of some names of some of our leaders how so we call them saki ibo we call them easy Benin, you can call them Enoge, Nupe Etsu, Ebira, Inoi, Wari, Olu. So those are titles of leaders among these people, among this sort of people. Don't forget that we have many tribes in Nigeria as well. So we're not just going to limit ourselves to House Yoruba, Ibo, and Hausa. We also look at um, the Wari, the Ebira, the Nupe people, the Benin people, and these are the titles of some of the leaders. So. Most traditional leaders in Nigeria have a unique title that distinguishes them from other kings. This ranges from one community to the other. We cited the examples, just like we said in the previous slide. Olu of Wari is in Delta State. Oni of Ife is in Ocean State, is Yoruba land. of Oyo. Emir of Kano, Sultan of Sokoto, and of course, Obi of Onesia. We can take note of all these titles, how they differ from one area to the other. All right. So, we quickly move to the next slide. We look at some of their the the things, the items that are associated with kings. So you can see a crown. Only a king wears a crown. We can see staff. You can see an example of beads too. You can see the beads. Imagine it. You can see beads. Can see staff, and you can also see crown that has been won by by kings. Of course, it is only kings that lives in palaces. Kings live in palaces, so you can see a royal palace, and of course, a royal seat. Now, during the lesson, somebody pointed out that sometimes we have these chairs being used during when we have a wedding. Of course, because the man and the woman getting married at that point in time is a special day so they are treated like royals like king like king and queen so but it doesn't mean that they will take the chair to their homes but for that day to to really look so glamorous they would sit on such chairs but when you enter a palace you see beautiful royal chairs they call them royal seat and most of the time it is only the king that is permitted to sit on his throne all right on his throne yes so we we'll move quickly to okay, we, okay we've seen this slide earlier on so we we'll move to another slide now when we've been able to identify all of this we I would like you to tell me the names of five community leaders and their titles we've cited examples earlier on you can always go back to the slide to go and to check again to look for uh, answers to some of these questions and of course mention three things associated with kings i've mentioned crown i've mentioned throne i've mentioned staff lots of other things that are associated with the kings so and that is the end of this and please don't forget to always sanitize your hands regularly by either washing with soap and water or using hand sanitizer and also ensure that anytime you are going out of your homes you are putting on your face mask. Stay safe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.